Hello, hello, just a quick treat for you today. This is the digital adaptation of Avignon, a game by John Du Bois, published by Buttonshy Games. Uh, Buttonshy is a publisher of one of my small card games, uh, Pod X. I think this is going to be a very fun treat for those of you who enjoy uh, very elegant two player games. Let's take a look. And the AI is pretty decent right now. Um, I think it's still in development. So every turn you have two actions. On the first turn, the first player only has one action. And with an action, you can do a couple different things and the options are shown uh, when you uh, highlight one of these cards. You can push a card forward, uh, you can pull it back, or you can petition, or I can discard, which is the uh, fourth option here. The Cardinal's Petition effect is that I push the Cardinal and then I pull all of the other characters. This would count as two actions, so I can't do it on my first turn. The Peasant's Petition effect is that I will allow my rival to push any character towards me. The Noble doesn't have a Petition effect, but it introduces two new victory conditions. The standard victory condition is to just draw three characters onto your side off of the board. The Noble allows you to win if your rival has a Knight and you have a Noble, or your rival will win if you have a Noble and a Peasant in your tableau. If I petition the knight, then I push two others and then pull the knight two spaces towards me. The bishop's petition is simply to pull the bishop once and then my rival will pull any other. Enough, enough of that tutorial. Let's actually get started playing here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to push that peasant. And that uses up my one action for that turn. From now on, both of us are going to have uh, two actions available on our turn. Now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and push that noble, and let's see if I can uh, get my uh, get my opponent to take the peasant and the noble. I'm going to petition for the knight to push that peasant and push that noble. Oh, and uh, what just happened here, when, an, uh, when a character leaves the board, a new character will come from the deck and replace them in the middle of that lane. So I'm going to push that noble. Uh, I worry about pulling a knight twice because... Uh, if my opponent gets a noble and then I get a knight, that means they will win. Uh, so on my next turn, I will probably, uh, for my next action rather, I would think I will just go ahead and push that noble. And hey, I just won. So that was an easy one. The AI still has some work to do and you can just see that that turn uh, signal just came back actually. So it's still in beta, it's still, it's still in some testing. Uh, but you can see how even if you don't get any characters in your tableau, you can you can theoretically win if you manage to get things just right. Let's have a little rematch here and see if the CPU does any better against me. That was a very fortunate turn of events, I think. So let's try this one more time. And you can see uh, there's no noble this time, so I can't really play around with that. Uh, one new thing here is the Inquisitor, which when I petition it, uh, I can push the Inquisitor and then I can pull any other by one or pull any cardinal by two and thankfully there is a cardinal here in play uh, which would be nice uh so i am this is a very straightforward sort of opening setup here so i'm just gonna go ahead uh, and start pushing for the more traditional win condition of just getting uh, three characters on my side uh ba -ba -ba, let's petition the Inquisitor, and I am going to pull the Cardinal twice. Now, pulling the Cardinal twice makes uh, makes this a little bit nice because then I have some sort of margin to use the Petition effect for the Cardinal. Uh, I don't want to push the Cardinal any further towards my opponent necessarily than I than I have to. Um, and and when I use this Petition, I can just get it to the center line, and thereby get this Bishop closer to me. What's my CPU gonna do? Okay, so he's using uh, the bishop's effect and pulling. Mm. Okay, uh, if I use the effect of this knight, it's not gonna uh, win me anything, unfortunately. Um, if I petition the Inquisitor, I can pull the Cardinal uh, into my tableau, and that'll get me one-third of the way to victory. What's the new card coming out? Ah, it's an Inquisitor. So with one more action available, 
Uh, I can't petition again, unfortunately. So I'm deciding whether to use that last action to push or to pull. And I suspect it'll be better for me to pull this bishop closer to me. <laughs> We're just tugging back and forth with that bishop, unfortunately. Wonder if we can set up a way to uh, make this work. You'll note that the cardinal option there was grayed out because there's no cardinal in play right now. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like him having that knight there uh, unless I can maybe mill the deck and get a noble. Uh, but barring that, I think it's going to have to be... Uh, hmm. Let's just petition this knight, bring him closer, and pull him by one. Yeah, I figured he was going to do that. Almost the exact same thing that I did to him. So, let's just make things interesting, I think. Uh, I'm going to discard this knight, and a noble comes out. That is interesting. I made a mistake there. I should have dis if I was going to discard a knight, I should have discarded uh, this one that was closer to me, so that if there was a noble to come out and replace this one, then uh, I would have been that much closer to my CPU losing. But all that is in the past. Let's just go ahead and petition the Inquisitor, bring the Cardinal to closer to me, and that will be all of my actions. Hmm. <laughs> Fascinating. All right. I'm going to try to push for my my opponent to get a noble and then for me to get a knight. Uh thereby Oh wait. No, that's that's his victory. That's right. Okay. Wait. Uh let me make sure I'm reading that correctly. Uh so if he has a noble and I have a knight, uh, that means he will win. Uh, he doesn't want a peasant and a noble. That's right. Okay. Um, so I don't want that. I want to reverse this. I am going to pull that noble. Uh, golly. Uh, if I can maybe... I can't do the petition for the cardinal because it counts as two actions, unfortunately. Uh, and I can't... Hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and petition the bishop and pull him. Okay. Hmm. Gosh, that bishop... Interesting. He took the knight. That means if I take either of these two nobles, then I'm going to win. Uh, sure. Perhaps this was a mistake in the AI uh, in thinking that this was a good idea. Or maybe I'm, I'm uh, mistaken about the rules. We'll see. Yeah, sure. We're going to go back and forth with that bishop. Now, uh, I have the option here of pulling any of these characters. I'm going to just pull that noble. Sure, why not? And I think with this, I'm going to win, aren't I? Yep, there we go. Well, that is just a quick taste of the Avignon beta. Uh, there's some interesting stuff you can do with the expansions that are going to be uh, included as part of expansion packs. Uh, you can get the priest, the evangelist, and the guildmaster. Uh, there are plenty of other cards I'm sure that you could make with this, So, I, and in particular I think uh, cards that may only work in the digital format, and I'm very excited to see how uh, the game develops um, over time. Uh, I don't know what the release date is going to be, but uh, just be on the lookout for this. Look for any updates from Buttonshy, uh, and I think you're going to find some really good stuff. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.